the Takata airbag mess gets messier, not all check engine lights are created equally, James Bond gets a new Aston DB, and speed limits are on the rise out west. It's the week in reverse, here at the Car Connection. Japanese airbag maker Takata is resisting the federal government's call that it replace faulty airbags, and for owners of vehicles like the mid-2000s Chrysler 300, Ford Mustang, and Honda Accord, it spells out confusion. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has looked into the growing problems with Takata airbags and has demanded a nationwide recall for driver-side airbags to be replaced. So far, Takata has refused to admit that the airbags are faulty or that its passenger-side airbags might also pose a risk. While the company and the safety agency remain at loggerheads, millions of vehicles equipped with the suspect airbags remain on the road. Depending on the car you own, that check engine light might be a big hit to the wallet, or maybe not. A new car MD study finds that when it comes to engine repairs, not all cars are created equally. It reports Honda has the lowest number of check engine incidences in its vehicle health index ratings, and Mazda as a brand has the lowest average repair cost, at just over $300. Overall, the most reliable cars in the car MD survey were the 2012 Toyota Camry, 2012 Honda Civic, and the 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Only Japanese and Korean cars placed in the top 10. A new James Bond movie is coming next year, and with it, a brand new Aston Martin developed exclusively for the world's most famous spy. The Aston Martin DB10 isn't a regular production model, but instead, it's a special limited run of 10 cars that will be used for filming of the new Bond flick, which will be called Spectre. The new DB10 was revealed today at a special event in the UK where much of the filming will take place. Daniel Craig returns to play the title role, as for the DB10, it continues a partnership between Aston Martin and the James Bond franchise that spans 50 years, one that started with the appearance of a DB5 in 1964's Goldfinger. And finally this week, if you want to drive fast and do it legally, the state of Montana continues to be your friend. A group of states including Texas, Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming allow 80 miles an hour on some roads, but now some Montana lawmakers are hoping to raise their limit to 85 miles per hour. Lawmakers have pointed to those neighboring states, noting that none of the four have seen a dramatic increase of accidents or fatalities because of the higher speed limits. 